A Kundalini awakening is one of the rarest achievements one can achieve in the journey of life. Kundalini is the energy of love. A Kundalini awakening is of immense importance, it contains immeasurable achievements, but it can turn your life inside out, in a good way, as it opens up your perceptions, which will make it possible to look at life from unimaginable angles. The name, Kundalini, derives from a Sanskrit word that literally means, coiled like a snake, or, one that has the shape of a snake, and is an energy that all human beings have at the base of the column vertebral. Orientals call this energy Kai, which can be awakened by Tai Chi Chuan and other practices. The indigenous people themselves invoke Kundalini with the strong stomping of the feet in those characteristic rituals that have become notorious in films. Spiritual awakening can happen to anyone at any age. There are many methods to awaken the kundalini fire, such as yoga, meditation, near-death experience, mental substances, sex, out-of-body experience, prolonged stress, initiation by a guru, shamanic ritual. This has happened to many gurus, spiritual practitioners, shamans and several others throughout history. Gopi Krishna, one of the founders of Kundalini Research, experienced the awakening of Kundalini due to a sacred meditation known as the Golden Flower Method. However, he had a dramatic awakening and with several turbulences, which draws attention to the need for psychological preparation to be able to deal with this energy asterisk, as narrated in the book, The Awakening of Kundalini. It is said that the golden flower method takes more than 100 days of practice to start forming the accumulated energy of the kundalini, which leads to the understanding of self-realization. There are numerous methods of initiation in which kundalini is achieved with the help of a master teacher or guru, when they take special preparations to direct the flow of kundalini through awakening consciousness. Although there are others who have experienced awakening at a faster rate in time, such as Terence McKenna, philosopher and psychonaut. He discovered the miraculous secrets of the universe by eating magic psilocybin mushrooms in the Amazon, which led to his extensive research on psychedelics, which McKenna believed was the key to the transdimensional journey of the human psyche. Other notorious that awoke the sleeping snake. Ramana Maharshi, a famous Hindu guru born in 1870, experienced when he was just 16 years old a kundalini awakening by a sudden annihilating fear of death that took over his body. It was through the perception of looking inward and contemplating death that he was able to experience spontaneous awakening through the death of the ego. Philip Street Roman, a Christian minister experienced his own shocking awakening through the simple method of praying to God. Alistair Crowley, a famous occultist and founder of the Thelema religion in the late 19th century, had several methods of his own, including alchemy, sex, hashish and mescaline. Aldous Huxley, the English writer for Brave New World, went through an awakening experience through peyote, mescaline, where he relived his experiences in his book that changed the life of the 50s, The Doors of Perception. The Doors of Perception created absolute outrage at the open, vulnerable experience of psychedelics, which was hardly recognized in the 1950s. The discovery of the beauty of the universe led him to research psychedelic and psychiatric studies. Kundalini's presence even intrigued the intellectual mind of Carl Jung, Alan Watts, Timothy Leary, Daniel Pinchbeck, Maynard Keenan, Joe Rogan, Russell Brand and several iconic intellectuals. The American writer and scholar, Jana Dixon, was really thorough and wrote one of the most impactful books on Kundalini. In The Biology of Kundalini, Dixon attributes the awakening of the sleeping snake to some conditions. One of them may be unrequited or unfulfilled love, as the author describes. It is often necessary to have self-initiating psychological conditions, such as devotion, excessive generosity, crisis, shaktipat of a guru or the encounter of great love, in order to provoke chemistry in a high degree of intensity. Shaktipat literally means descent of grace. It is the yogic initiation in which the Siddha Guru transmits spiritual energy to the aspirant, thus awakening the aspirant's sleeping Kundalini Shakti.